If you're going to wrap something in bacon, then just run along the length of it with your knife just to stretch it out. That stops it actually curling up when you're, when you're cooking it. So wrap each piece, probably take two bits of bacon for each little joint. The others are already cooking there. And you see they're not, the, the bacon is staying intact. And it's, it scares people because it, be, it can get dry. But with the, this being wrapped in the bacon, it will stay moist in that. And also it's just going to be poached slowly in this. Just a, it'll just be a braise. So I've already started to cook some off and this is just the last one. This will just make sure that even though it's wrapped in the bacon, it will get a good colour. You don't want to just stick that in the pot without getting colour. All this has flavour uh, when, the, when the stock or wine goes in and that's what it gives it. I love these dishes where everything just cooks in one pan. And I wouldn't even bother, apart from a vegetable, uh, one green vegetable, to um, do starch on the side with this because I'll be putting dumplings in so you get a bit of carbs, not too much. And then in with the white wine. You don't have to use white wine, you can use stock for this, or you can even use water because flavour will come out of what's in here. I'm going to put a few sprigs of thyme in it as well. You don't need to take them off the stock because they, look, they always look lovely when these are cooked, very kind of rustic. So you need to bring this uh, up to the boil to get the wine hot enough, and after that you can turn it down to a simmer, leave it, and that will do for about 30 minutes. Make your dumplings. When you hear the word dumpling, you probably think, oh, Eastern Europe, stodginess. These are very light. It's bread, watercress, thyme and lemon, and a little bit of onion just sautéed in olive oil. You just want the onion to soften for this, not to colour. So don't put it on too high a heat. A little bit of garlic in there as well. And into that as well, you're going to have some breadcrumbs, just white breadcrumbs. In with it is going to go some parsley, flat leaf parsley, take the stalks off. You only need about sort of three tablespoons, but you don't need to be pedantic about it. Just put in as much as you think it is, make it as green as you want it to be. So just put those in. Watercress has just been made another, well, we've got enough of them, but it's another superfood, yet another one. I've taken the coarse stalks off this so that you're mostly just left with the little leaves. So just chop this very roughly. Don't worry about bits of it being big because it will actually, it'll wilt then in the middle of it all. Put some thyme in as well. I know there's thyme in with the rabbit, but this will also just help to flavour it. Pull the leaves off this time. Don't put the stock in because you don't want to find bits of stock in your dumpling. I'm going to put the zest of one lemon in here. Uh, one egg's gone in, one large egg. Put your onions in as well. They're nice and soft now. That you do need to season these well. I know they've got quite strong flavoured ingredients in it, but the bread takes quite a lot of seasoning. Okay, so you need to form uh, little dumplings. Don't they look cute, don't they? About the size of a golf ball, really. And I think people eat kind of about two to three of these, depending on how, how big you make them. The rabbit has done well. You can see that the juices have really reduced as well. And these are just going to cook in along with it. You will need to check these every so often just to make sure that there, some part of it is, is still in the liquid. They'll set because of the egg in it, but you want, to also, you want them also to pick up the juices in the stock. So this should take about 50 minutes to an hour to do at home. A bit more maybe if your rabbit's older. If you're gonna do it with chicken thighs instead of rabbit, it will take about 40 minutes to do.